Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Ethanol Endeavours. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at K-Cider. So, first of all, this isn't a blind reaction. I've had, I've been drinking this for a while. Um, so, I kind of know what to expect and, um, but I'll be able to give a better, more sort of well-versed, re well-versed review because then I can sort of, because I know what to expect and know how to describe it and stuff. So, anyway. <clears throat> Okay, so the, um, the mark of quality it says there and eight percent. As you can see, it has a, it has a quite a nice aesthetic. It has quite a cool aesthetic with the black and red. And then on the back here it says, "Serve chilled." The mark of quality. Premium liquids of a superior quality have always been marked with a K. So when you want to look for the ultimate, when you want the ultimate in quality, look for this K. Cider um, contains sulfates. Um, this is 3.5 units, UK units, um, it says the, if it will focus, it's not going to focus, and then it's also, it's, this can is, um, 440 milliliters, however they do do them in 500, um, I think, <laughs> this is from Iceland or something, but I know, it's pr I think it's more common to get them in 500, I'm not sure why this is 440, so yeah, um, based in um uh glasgow that's what the directory thing is glasgow um so there's a little bit of the thing i was just reading there um <clears throat> obviously eight percent is is quite is, is high is you know not something to be um to just mess around with or anything you need to be responsible and it's similar with the um jack rat thing that i uh, reviewed a uh, lot in the last episode, 7.4. This tastes nothing like that Jack Wright thing, and that is why I was so surprised if you saw that video when I was drinking it, and um, for the first time I was quite um, taken back because I did not expect that. So there we go, open it. Now first of all, the mark, I'm not sure what they mean when they say when you want it for the ultimate in quality, look for this K. I don't know if they like. I don't know if that's based off anything apart from this. From this, I don't know why they're saying that. Um, I've always wondered that the mark of quality is uh, is questionable, and uh, calling it a premium liquid of superior quality. You know, it's uh, it's questionable. I'm just going to say that. I'm not going to say it's bad. So yeah, when you take when when you smell it. Apples, you smell the apples in it quite heavily. Um, you have the apples and you have the um, bitter apples, may I add. Yeah, the apples and the alcohol. That, that, you know, that, that's really what you smell. That's the most, that's the most prominent flavours. Or, yeah, flavours. And, um, on to drinking it. So I have eaten before. I just I I just had dinner. Um, yeah, it's it's. I personally find it quite difficult to drink. I'm not sure anyone who genuinely enjoys drinking this. I had one the other week, and I thought, hey, you know, this isn't too bad. I can actually quite enjoy this. But you know, it always takes some breaking into. You need to break into it because it is it is a difficult drink to to, to you know you're not going to be able to easily drink this. Um, it's um, very bitter, like very bitter, and um, that's going to be mainly where the flavour is going to be at. Really, um, you're not going to taste so much apple. You, there's not a lot of there is a there is a little bit of sweetness in there, but it's not a lot. You're going to be tasting mainly the apple bitterness of the apple and then other, other than that it's just the ethanol in it yeah so it lingers in your mouth for a while after you swallowed it kind of uh, at the back of your the back of your mouth as always with alcohol um however it's, it has a bit more of a forward 
forward taste in the mouth. It's not just right at the back, it's a little bit more in the middle as well of your tongue. Um, and, um, it, yeah, it is difficult to drink. It's, it's like, it's like drinking like a spirit or something. You kind of want to cringe when you have it, except this is a full pint, basically, almost a pint in my case, um, of, of, of that. So it is, the, it does get difficult to drink and it doesn't even have the same effects. It does have very strong effects, but not the same effects, so... Yeah, you, it's very dry. You really taste the dryness. That's that's what really comes out. And it's not a very... I don't really know what to describe it apart from that. There's not. It's not a very um, flavoursome... Well, no, it has a strong flavour. It's just the flavour's very <laughs> bad, you know. I mean, maybe people enjoy it. Maybe people older than I am and been drinking more stuff maybe enjoy this, but it's not my favourite personally and everyone else around me that has had it have not enjoyed it themselves. However, um, however, the main, th the main thing about this is that it's cheap, um, it is, it is four pounds a pack, so, um, like a pound a can, a pound a pint, which is very good value for money, I think it's actually, I think it's four pounds fifty or four pounds sixty or something like that, <laughs> And um, so it's incredibly good for money. And so if you're young, if you don't have a lot of money, you need something to drink and something that's gonna get the gonna get you drunk. This is this is what I go to, and that's why that's why I have experience with it because the sole purpose of a drink like this, which tastes not so good, is high percentage and cheap, is to get drunk. Like that, that's it. And so I've had it, you know, a lot. Um, obviously not necessarily recently because of coronavirus and everything. But when I used to go out. Um, I used to have this extensively. This was like this was like the only, th yeah, it was the only drink that I ever had. Um, and so that is where it stands, really, in terms of like necessity. It's not. A, it's you know, it's there. For, it's there for a reason, you know. And um, <laughs> I don't know if that was a specific intent, but um, you know, cheap and strong. So so that, that that's what that's what it is really. And um, and I recommend it, you know, if you have more money and if you really can't handle the flavour, obviously there's better things out there. Um, but these are easy to get, you know, four pounds a pack, you can easily get them and sort of carry them around with you. It's not like having to carry around like a big glass bottle of spirit or something like that as well. They're convenient to carry. That's not even something I really considered apart from just right now. They're convenient to carry. They're not, you know, the the only weight is the, the, the actual weight of the liquid. It's not like there's a you know something like something like that obviously um i guess they're a mobile drink if you want to call it that um you can have them on the go and you can get them from most corner shops or any kind of shop as well and um they're not gonna yeah they're not gonna be massively expensive so so that's where they stand you know if you if, you, if you're moving even it doesn't even matter if you are moving around but there is a potential use for it then that's where you, that's where you want to be having it Yeah, it's just dry. I I know I didn't really elaborate on the flavour, but there's not much to elaborate on. It is just it is just dry. It's just bitter and dry, and that's about it. Really, there's not much more to say about it. Um, it's <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm trying to think of ways to describe it and stuff like that, but it's it's just it's just bitter. It's just bitter. Um, a little bit of sweetness in there from the from the apples as well. But no, mainly just a bitter ethanol, dry, dryness, and it is bitter. Don't take that as an under as under exaggeration, or don't take it as an over exaggeration. It is it is like you know it's difficult to drink. It's not going to be easy, and um, but you know when you're on a night out and you go to friends, that's just what you do. Generally, I'll get through about four, four to five of these. And then, you know, five is, like, it, that is my limit. I cannot have any more than that. Otherwise, I will do some regrettable things, um, potentially, allegedly. Um, but 
recently, and keep in mind that's when I was drinking, I had just three just the other day. Um, well, it was about like a month ago now or something like that, just at home. And, and that was probably getting me near about the same level of my stuff. I was, I was quite, uh, maybe I, I wasn't drinking them fast either, but I, you know, at times where I would get up and like, you know, sometimes I feel a bit sick and stuff like that. Um, I wasn't, but like, um, it, it's just, it's just a gauge for you to, to know, to know what, what is a healthy amount. Do not go over five Ks, like at all. It like, it doesn't, it literally doesn't even matter how much you've been drinking. If you're like a, you know, 40 year old man or something like that, who's got, you know, his beer belly coming on and, you know, you've got a big build or whatever, then obviously, cause obviously I'm a, I'm not tall. I'm not, uh, muscular or anything, anything like that. Um, so obviously people take it differently, but generally K five is like, uh, the limit and, um, three, one is enough to make you feel like tipsy slash drunk. And then two is like, yeah, you're drunk. And then three is like, you don't, there's a bit of a blur between two and three, to be honest. And then four is like, yeah, you really kind of messed up. But, um, I mean, obviously everyone's subjective. That's just my experiences and sort of to help you to help guide you if you are going to drink it just sort of uh where to be and there's <laughs> there's a um it was, it was a news article or something like that or like a blog or something um of the levels of k so it's like k1 k2 k3 k4 and k5 and they say the same thing do not go over k5 do not go over k5 um that's like the the most extreme <laughs> you're gonna regret it whether you do question all things or not, you're going to regret it. Um, but yeah, that was, a, that was a funny blog and it's kind of mainstream. So maybe you should check that out if you want. But um, yeah, there's not much to say about it. There's, it's got it's got a um, very minimalist thing. I know I said I like the aesthetic before, but it's very minimalist. Maybe that helps save the money because there's nothing to do an elaborate print on the can or anything like that. I'm not sure. Um uh, but I'm sure that's an aesthetic nowadays, minimalizing everything. Um, and, um, yeah, so that, that's been case order. I don't know what else to say apart from that. It's bitter, uh, a little bit sweet, cheap, mobile, easy to get. Um, and apart from that, I can't, I can't recommend it. Honestly, I can't recommend it unless you're having it for those intended reasons. I cannot recommend it. It is you don't you do not save no you do savor this, but only because it's so strong. It's so difficult to drink it at a large quantity, so you're forced to savor it. But you don't want to savor it. Um, um, but so yeah, so that's what I really have to say about it. Um, if, if you have any video suggestions of more drinks or videos in general, like I said, check out my channel. I have lots of things. Um, I just did a upload of me setting up my um, Harley Benton guitar and stuff like that. If you like more videos like that, then tell me. Just, you know, um, I'm open to suggestions. Other than that, that has been K Cider. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, like I said, please uh, comment possible su suggestions, like, um, and subscribe. and. Um, sure, if you're so obliged, I would appreciate that greatly. So um, thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, goodbye.